Her Majesty. Get a good trip in. As an atmosphere of diplomatic stagnation was present at Ulmert's meeting with King Abdullah, it is not surprising that despite the warmth that Abdullah showed, he also came with criticism and demands from the Prime Minister. The Jordanians criticized the expansion of settlements to allow for natural growth. Ulmert denied it stringently and refused to change his position to date. All that took place in the room, whereas earlier, on the stage at Petra, those present heard Ulmert make very moderate statements to the Arab leaders. I invite these 22 leaders of the Arab nations that are ready to make that kind of peace with Israel to come to wherever they want to sit down with us and start to talk. And we said, no obstacles. You will not hear from me any no. If someone expects to hear any Israeli no, uh, you will be disappointed. We say yes. Olmert says Israel will talk to the Arab League without any preconditions, but it is known that Israel does have preconditions, and Olmert would be happy to talk about them with Arab leaders who will thus lift the Arab boycott from Israel. The chances of that are not great at the moment, and the Jordanian king, like other Arab leaders, wants to see Israel make progress and take action. Olmert spoke of his regular meetings with the Palestinian chairman, but Abbas's close advisor had a slightly different version. There are no gains so far. There are no progress so far. Now Almert has some internal uh, problems. We are waiting for, for him to be ready. We are ready. We don't have any problem meeting him tomorrow.